Hi, Alina. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for coming in. I'm Dr. Matt. I'm going to do your annual physical today. Can you please verify your date of birth? Yeah, May 26, 1995. Wonderful. And do you have any allergies? Um, I'm, I have like seasonal allergies. Okay. Any allergy to medications? No. Are you taking getting medicine on a daily basis? Um, no. Okay. Any medical history that I should be aware of? Um, I broke my arm about a year ago. But okay. it's fine now. Which one? This one. Right arm. And where'd you break it? Kind of in the elbow part. Okay. Are you having any pain? No, it's better. Okay, so would you say that on a scale of 0 to 10, how bad would you, would you rate it? It's like a 0? Yeah, so 0. no pain. Okay. Okay. Any history of hypertension? Um, high no. blood pressure? Okay. Any family history of uh, hyperlipidemia? Any endocrine disorders? Um, not that I know of. Okay. And when was your last annual? Um, about a year ago. A year ago. Okay, any concerns at the moment that you would like me to address? Um, no, not at the moment. Let's go ahead and begin. So what I'm going to do is I will take a look first. Um, so visually I'm not seeing any discomfort. Look, skin looks very well perfused. Um, also dry and I'm not seeing any any redness anywhere. Now I will palpate your your scalp. Do you have any pain? Any lumps? No. No. Okay. So let's go ahead and start by taking your vitals. Is this arm okay? Yes. blood pressure is 121 over 65. Is that good? Oh, it's good. Yes. Absolutely. I'll put this on your index finger. And we're going to measure your oxygenation. Go ahead and relax your hand. And any flu-like symptoms in the last 48 no. hours? No? Okay, this is going to go on your forehead. Point one Fahrenheit. Oxygenation is 95 percentile on the Romeo. Heart rate is 79. That's very good. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and write this down. to listen to your heart and your lungs. Okay, I'm going to need 
want you to breathe normal. Just relax. S1 and S2, no S3, no S4, which is very reassuring. Can you please take a deep breath in and breathe out? And again, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, and now listen to the sides too. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and breathe out. And on the other side, take a deep breath in. I'm going to go ahead and palpate your scalp. Go ahead and relax. like a small lump here on the back, on the right side. I would say it's like a bee size. It's soft. It's movable. Otherwise, everything looks normal. Have you ever noticed this? Um, I don't think so. So it's kind of new, because otherwise I think you would have noticed it. Mm -hmm. I would say it's about two weeks old, maybe. Mm. Does it hurt? Um, no, I don't really feel it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and help eat your neck as well. And in the back. I'm going to turn your head this way. Enlargement in the front, above the clavicle. Everything seems to be within normal limits. That's good. Yes. Please follow. Okay. One more time. Okay. The thyroid gland is normal size. I'm not feeling any lumps. Okay, go on and turn your head this way. Sinuses are non-enlarged. I'm going to pop the sinuses above you. 
more eyebrows. And go ahead and pop it and check your arm as well. Okay, so I'm noticing a few irregular moles. Normal color. No edema. I'm not feeling any swollen lymph nodes. The refill is within two seconds. Nail beds are healthy. Normal color. No hemorrhagic splinters. Palms are normal color as well. No pulmonary erythema. Okay, and I'm going to check your left side too. Okay. I'm just going to have it turn around this way. It's on the left side of your neck. I'm going to check your arm and your hand as well. Okay, skin looks intact. Normal temperature, warm, dry. Capillary refill is within two seconds. No signs of any liver disorders. No yellowish discolorations. Normal 
vascularization of the scalp so far. The hair follicle looks healthy. There's no sign of lysophestation. Go ahead and check the other side too. That feels good. Okay. Definitely looks very healthy. Measurements. One is going to be of your head, and we're going to put this in your file. I'm going to measure your arms for conference as well. And now I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. I'll take a look inside your eyes, make sure that there is no yellowish discoloration, and also check your pupil. Go ahead and look straight at my nose. Okay. Pupils are only reactive to light. I'm going to press down on your eyelid and take a look inside. Good. Conjunctive eye is normal color. Go ahead and open your mouth for me. Give me a big all. Good. No redness in the back of the throat. Can you stick your tongue out and move it up and down, side to side? Perfect. Can you be, give me a big smile and frown? Puff your cheeks. Keep them puff for me. Don't let me unpuff them. All right. Go ahead and relax. Okay. Let's go ahead and check your vision now. Are you wearing contacts? No. Okay. And do you usually wear glasses? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna have you hold the snow lunch chart with one hand and with the opposite hand go ahead and cover your right eye. Perfect. Extend this all the way. That's great. And can you read the last row starting with the first letter to the left? L T F P H. And what color is this? Red. And what color is this? Green. Okay, that's wonderful. Go ahead and switch eyes. And can you tell me what letter this is? H and go ahead and read the last row starting with the H letter. H P F T L. And what color do you see here? Green. And what about here? Red. Okay. That's perfect. Alright, now I'm gonna check your optic nerve. For this, I'm gonna ask you to look straight behind me at the wall. Try to keep your eyes open as much as you can.
very healthy. Let's go ahead and check your left eye. Perfect. Looks very good. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and check your ears. Can you please look that way for me? Gray. I'm seeing a little bit of redness in the back of the canal. Normal amount of ear discharge. Just no signs of infection, just that redness. I don't know if it's a scratch or an irritation of some sort of chemicals that may be trapped in there. Sometimes dust can cause that too. Alright, let's go ahead and check your other ear. The pudding membrane is part gray. And I'm seeing the same amount of redness that I saw on the left side. Normal amount of earwax. I would say overall looks good. We're just gonna have to watch for any environmental toxins. And I'll do a very good checkup for that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll ask you to lay down and I'll examine your abdomen and then your back and we're gonna go down the legs. Okay. Okay, Lita. Are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I will lift the cow knot a little bit mm -hmm. up to here so that I have a better exposure and understanding of what is going on in your abdomen. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift the cow knot. First, I'll do a visual inspection. Looking for any scars, any discolorations. There is a little bit of redness over here. Looks localized. And one circular mole, small in size, normal color, non raised. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your abdomen.
all suns are normal. They are heard in all quadrants. your abdomen. Let me know if you feel any kind of pain. I'm starting with the right side from the rib cage down. is normal size. measurements, see if there is any inflammation. And now I'm going to touch you with a very um, kind of a sharp object. It's a neurological poking device. And you're going to feel me touching you on your abdomen. Go ahead and tell me if you feel on the right, left, or center. something going on over here on this side and we're gonna have to get to the bottom of it any pain is on palpating here a little bit yeah so it seems to be more superficial than deep are you feeling any burning sensations or no. any numbness 
Not really, no. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at your back now. I'm gonna have you flip over. Okay. Alright. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put your hair up. So we have better exposure of the neck. And I'm going to open your gown. Cervical spine has normal curvature. I'm not noticing any deviations from to the left or right. Atlas is well positioned, no inflammation. Just that lump that we found earlier on the left side. Thoracic spine is also normal. Just a slight hump here at the upper side. But it's definitely caused by poor posture. Are you having any pain here? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of redness and edema is impressing down along the spinous processes. Now we're feeling down the spine for any scoliosis. Okay, everything looks good. Lungs. Can you take a deep breath in and breathe out? And again, take a deep breath in.
no signs of fluid buildup. Lungs sound clear bilaterally. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and close the gown and I'm gonna examine your feet now. and just palpate first both legs normal temperature bilaterally I'm going to check your pulses too 2 plus synchronizing perfect and I'm going to inspect the soles of your feet. I'm noticing a little bit of dryness. And a scaly patch on the toe. Between the toes looks very good. No signs of eczema. Just a big toe. I'm going to go ahead and prescribe an ointment for that. And I see this bilaterally in the same spot, which could definitely indicate that um, the shoes might be the problem. When was the last time you changed the shoes? Then that's good. I'm going to take a look on the sole here. Okay. So there's definitely some dryness. I'm gonna go ahead and check your the skin reflex. This is going to feel kind of sharp. Okay, that's good. Relax. Okay, perfect. Normal response. And I'm going to check your sensations. So I'm going to touch you with two textures. One is going to feel sharp and this is what it's going to feel like. Can you confirm that you felt it? Yes. Okay. And this is going to feel dull. Can you confirm that you felt that? Yes, I did. Perfect. All right, go ahead and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Let's go ahead and move on to the left leg. Sharp. 
Sharp. Sharp. Listen to your feet as well. Okay, very good pulses on the right side. Alright, I'm gonna have you dress and we're gonna go ahead and discuss the results. Okay, Alita, everything looks good, but I do want to check the lump that we saw on the left side. So I'm gonna send you for a CT scan. Okay. Alright, you can go ahead and schedule that uh, whenever you have a chance. And also, we're gonna go ahead and do an ultrasound of the left leg just to see what's going on with the circulation there. Uh, you got some of the answers wrong on the sharp or dull test and I just want to make sure that everything looks good before we go ahead and um, do the blood work. Okay. Okay. So the CT and an ultrasound and I'm going to call you with the results to let you know how everything went. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you.